In this video, we're going to see how you can set up a Pepper's Ghost demonstration for a whole class so that it looks like you have a candle burning underwater. The first thing that you need to do is get uh, two tea lights and blue tack or stick down in some other way one of the tea lights into the bottom of a 250ml beaker. You're then going to place that on a heatproof mat and then in front of that you're going to place the cleanest safety screen that you have got. Then in front of that you're going to want to have a second heatproof mat and on top of that heatproof mat you're going to have the your second tea light which you're then going to light with a match. Now carefully adjust the position of the burning tea light so the reflection of it lines up with the wick of the tea light in the beaker so that it looks like that candle is also burning. The next thing that you're going to need to do is cover up this candle so that it can't easily be seen. And we're going to do that by inserting a, another heatproof mat that we're going to clamp with these clamp stands here. This is going to initially block the view from our camera, which is quite low down, but your student's viewing angle from higher up will still be fine. Looking down from above, you can see that we have got the candle in the beaker, then we've got the safety screen, and then hidden under here is our candle that's actually burning, covered up with this gently sloping heatproof mat. This shows the same thing with that front heatproof mat removed, and we can see that the burning candle is the same distance in front of the safety screen as the candle in the beaker is behind the safety screen. You can then pour in some water and the candle will appear to stay lit even though it is underwater. Because of refraction by the water, the size and position of the candle in the beaker appears to change slightly. So rather than pouring the water in live in front of your students, you might prefer to have it there already and carefully adjust the position of the beaker and the candle so that the wick perfectly lines up with the reflected image of the flame.